Hello Legends. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build absolutely anything with Google's Firebase Studio, which is currently free to use, and then NAN AI Agent. So Firebase Studio lets you build apps using AI. All you need to do is just do plain English prompting, and then it creates the entire app for you. You don't need to code anything. It takes care of all that in the back end. And then NAN is a workflow automation tool, which is access to cool things like AI agents. So then the combination of both Firebase and NAN lets you create an app that actually completes actions as well. And this is the high level infrastructure of what we're building out today. So we're building out a very silly app called Excuse Generator 3000. I actually watched Nate Herc's video on Lovable and NAN. So I wanted to make a similar example here, uh, but we're using Firebase Studio to build the front end for us where a user is gonna go on to and make a request for an excuse. And then we're sending that request across to NAN, and then we're gonna be processing that with this AI agent. The AI agent's gonna take that request, it's gonna generate an excuse and send it right back into the Firebase Studio app, which basically leaves us with this kind of workflow. So the entire app actually has to do this. It has to receive the input from the user, so the request of the excuse they need generated, then it has to send that input across to NAN to be processed so that AI agent can actually take it and then generate that excuse. So that's step three. And then step four is to display the results back to the user. So as you can see, we got a couple of steps in our Firebase Studio, step one, two, and four, and then NAN is the actual AI agent build. So across in Firebase, I'm gonna start creating that prompt for us so we can generate this app. And I'm gonna be using this workflow as a starting point for my prompt. So this is what I have so far. I've got build an app that helps users generate excuses, call the app excuse generator 3000. And then I actually need an input text box and then a button called generate excuse. So, so far what we've done is we've basically given context to Firebase of the app we wanna create. And uh, we've given the instructions for how to receive the input from the user. And since we have that button, we can actually send the input across to NAN for processing. But, but now what we need to do, we need to establish some kind of endpoint in NAN to receive that request from Firebase. Okay, so to get started with that, I'm across in NAN. I'm just gonna click on add first step and I'm gonna search for webhook. Let's click that. So a webhook actually is like a custom address on the internet for us. Uh, it lets us define a specific URL, which is gonna be able to accept information from Firebase directly into this NAN scenario. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna change this to a post method. I then wanna go into this URL here and I wanna copy it. So just quickly, there's actually two modes for this webhook. There's a test mode and a production mode. Both of them have different URLs. For the test, this is what we're gonna be using when we're building out this actual uh, NAN workflow. But once we're ready to go live and actually have this active all the time, we'll be using this different webhook. So I'm gonna to go to test, I'm gonna copy this. All right, now I've updated the prompt. So now I'm saying, hey, when that button is pressed, so when generate excuse is pressed, send the input text payload, so whatever the user inputted via a post request across to this webhook URL. And that's the exact same one we just copied from NAN. So I'm gonna click prototype with AI. So now I'm just gonna fast forward to when this uh, initial step is done. Um, I've actually noticed that this is a little bit slowish in terms of first setting up. Um, Google just launched this, I think like less than a day ago. So it does take some time. Actually, this is pretty fast this time. So what we have here is we've got our initial request in Firebase and then Firebase has created a plan of attack. So I'm gonna click on edit and actually I have the opportunity to, uh, to change whatever I want over here. I can either change it manually by just saying, all right, I wanna use this different color code or I wanna add different core features um, or I can just continue prompting here until I'm happy with the changes. But all I wanna do is I wanna change this to so the app name to excuse generator gener Ater 3000, which is what I wanted initially. I'm actually happy with that. So I'm gonna hit save. And now I'm gonna to go to, all right, when this is finished loading, prototype this app. So yeah, I could have just put some more, you know, change this, change that into there and kind of kept going with the uh, initial action plan. But this is enough for me to get started. And now you can see that Firebase is literally building out the entire app in the back end, uh, all the different files, everything that's needed. We don't need to code anything up. We just see this initially. Um, but then we're gonna be shown the actual interface that's been created. So we'll just give it a few more seconds and then we should be able to start interacting with something. Okay, awesome, so excuse generator 3000. So at this stage, I can actually just input something. Um, I'm just gonna say hello. I'm just gonna test out the connection between uh, NAN and Firebase. So we've got this webhook live. Uh, actually, it's not live yet, it's just in a test mode. So I'm just gonna click on test workflow and now this is open to receive events. So back over here, let's click on generate excuse. 
and all right, nothing really happened here, cool. So we can see that in NAN, we actually received that information. Uh, and how does it look? Okay, over here. So we have body and then within body, we have context and it says hello. So we actually were able to send that information from the excuse generator app directly into NAN. And now this means that we can actually create some functionality for the app. So the next thing I wanna do is actually introduce this AI agent. And uh, within this AI agent, I wanna firstly plug in the, um, the request. So whatever message we get from the Firebase app, from that excuse generator app, I wanna plug it into this agent. I then also wanna prompt the agent up to know what it has to do, like, hey, generate an excuse for this specific thing. So I can do all of that in the settings. So I'm just gonna zoom in. And now the first thing I'm gonna change is source for prompt. I'm gonna to go to define below. And now I can actually just scroll down and drag this context variable directly into here. And all that means is that whatever value I have here, like hello or generate an excuse for me not doing my homework, it's gonna be input into this agent. And now we have the option to uh, add some system instructions for this agent as well. So this is pretty typical, like whenever you're creating a, you know, like a chat GPT, custom GPT for yourself, the system instructions are the overarching instructions we're gonna be following. And in order to create that, I'm just gonna go across to chat GPT and just prompt up, um, uh, so it can help me create a prompt for this uh, excuse generator agent. All right, so we have, hey, you are an expert prompt creator. So please create me a prompt for an AI agent that will generate hilarious and borderline absurd excuses to the user's input. Now output this in markdown format. So let's see what we get out of this. Hopefully it generates some funky prompts, uh, sorry, funky uh, excuses for us. So we have markdown format. This looks like it's pretty good. Okay, so maybe the example here is a little bit too far, no big deal. Let's just copy this. And in NAN, let's paste it into here. We have system message. And do we need to clean anything up? User input. Nah. Okay, I'm just gonna backspace this. I don't really mind. And I think this is, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's good enough for me to use. And now we have our AI agent. Yeah, and so yeah, basically at this stage, we have the input that's coming in from the excuse generator app. And then we have the actual prompt for our, for our agent to generate just some silly, some very, very silly excuses. Um, the next thing for us to do in order to get rid of this, uh, this red exclamation is to introduce some kind of brain for this AI system. So I'm just gonna click on this little plus button and now we have a bunch of different LLMs that we can get access to. And I'm gonna to go to OpenAI chat model. Now, if this is your first time using NAN, you will have to create some credentials. Uh, just go to create new credentials and then follow the instructions. You just need to get an API key from your OpenAI account. Um, and then you can also choose a bunch of different models. Since I want this to be a little bit faster, I'm gonna stick with GPT-40 Mini. It's like a real-time um, automation that we need to run here. But typically I just use GPT-40. So for anything non-real-time, that's what I will do. So at this stage, I'm just gonna move this across and so now the error goes away. So um, I'm gonna go test workflow again and just see uh, to kind of like step-by-step step see that we receive the input, we can plug it into the agent and see that the agent generates some excuse. So back in the app, I'm just gonna send hello again uh, and just see what happens. So in NAN, okay, so we had an excuse generated. Uh, why were you at a no-show meeting? Okay, I think this literally just generated its own uh, input over here. But if I zoom in, you can see that hello was actually added as context. So maybe a better example would be to just send something cooler. So uh, excuse for why I did not complete my homework. Okay, generate excuse. Okay, so we actually had an error here, but that error is because I didn't click on test workflow to just open up that webhook. I can press this again, and now the workflow was working. Okay, so let's see. So the output from this AI agent, my pet goldfish, Sir Bubbles McFluffy Tail, developed a sudden case of existential dread and demanded a heart to heart. All right, that's silly. And I honestly, it's, it's pretty good for me. Um, so now the final thing for us to do is we actually need to display the answer here somewhere. So in NAN, in order for us to send that information back to um, our excuse generator 3000, we need one more node here. So I'm gonna go and search up for webhook and I'm gonna click on respond to webhook. So at a high level, the workflow is we have an inbound webhook which receives this information from the excuse generator app. We process with the AI agent and now we're sending that, uh, the excuse from the AI agent directly back uh, in that same API call. So it's displayed um, in the generator app. So in order for, for this to work, we have to go into this initial webhook. So let's double click into here. 
and we've got to change this configuration. So respond, we need to change from immediately, which just means as soon as you get the request from the excuse app, just send something back. We don't want that. We want to change it to respond to uh, using the webhook node. So now what we've done is we basically connected this thing up to this thing so that this thing sends the re response back. Um, and while we're here, let's click into respond to webhook and I'm just gonna zoom into here. So now we actually have this uh, option as well, which is respond with. So respond with just gives us some um, control over what information we're sending back uh, to the excuse generator app. So I'm just gonna click drop, drop down and I'm gonna click on JSON. So now we have a structured response and uh, what I wanna do is I wanna change this to excuse. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna copy this because I'm gonna go into our uh, Firebase app and say, hey, this is the response format you're getting. So this is what you know you should expect. This is how you process it. So we have the word excuse and then the value here, I'm just gonna backspace and I'm gonna take this output and I'm gonna put it in between the quotation marks. So this output is that excuse that we had from the AI agent. And I just wanna build it into this response that we're sending back. So uh, actually what I need to do here is just uh, backspace this and then go in between these quotation marks and now paste it in. And then you can see here, like the actual result that would have been sent back this time would have been uh, excuse and then the actual my pet goldfish, blah, blah, blah thing. Um, okay, so let's just copy this again. Now let's zoom out of here. So everything is set up. Now we need to go back into our excuse generator app. And uh, over here, I'm just gonna say, hey, uh, when you're making the request across to NAN, this is the response that you're gonna get back. All right, so all I've done is I basically instructed saying, hey, the response from the webhook is gonna be formatted like this. So it's gonna have excuse and then the string just, this is basically just says, this is the excuse that you're gonna get back. So please display the excuse back to the user. So let's zoom out of here and press enter. Uh, okay, so now in the back end, all the changes are gonna be made. We don't need to modify any of the code ourselves. Here's a preview of what's happening. Uh, it's pretty quick. Okay, so I think we can actually give this workflow a run. Let's go test workflow. And now here for generate excuse, uh, let's actually say generate an excuse for why I am late to work. So generate excuse. And now, okay, so that was actually pretty quick. So that was actually very, very quick. That's awesome. And now we have our excuse here. I'm so sorry I'm late, a family, of time traveling hedgehogs trap me in a never ending game of chess just when I thought I would be outsmarted by them. Okay, so that is actually very cool. So at this stage, what I might wanna do is add some more functionality into the front end. So when we click generate excuse, there's no like loading indicator or anything like that. So um, I mean, for this beginner tutorial, I think that's the extent of what we wanna do. Like I reckon now you can go out and just start using um, Firebase. It's again, it's for free. So you can just use Firebase run some of these silly automations um, using Firebase and NAN. But just to show you a bit more about how to prompt this up to just create different functionality for the front end, I'm just gonna say, please include a loading indicator while we're waiting for the response to process. So nothing too complicated, but just to show you that you can just literally plain text um, prompt over here, even for the functionality for uh, like the user interface, which is what we're doing here. And then also when we prompted before about, hey, this is the API format, like that's the, like that's the back end prompting. So like change the code for the API, but also the front end prompting like, hey, add a loading indicator. So let's just see if this works now. So let's try and be a little bit silly. I'm just gonna say, give me an excuse why I fell off my bike. Okay, so that's, I failed to fetch. Yep, no worries. And that's because I didn't test the workflow. Uh, actually, while we're here, instead of just testing this workflow, let's just stop this and let's make this live for production. So to do that, I'm just gonna click on active and now active means that I don't have to keep testing the workflow. I'm actually pretty happy with what's going on now. Um, and I'm gonna be flicking over to the production URL. So to do that, let's go to production URL. Let's copy this. Now let's get out of here and back an excuse generator. And now actually, uh, instead of prompting in here, I, I wanna show you how you can edit the code yourself as well. So um, it's very easy for me to just say, hey, change the, um, the webhook address from what you had before into this new webhook address and just paste it in. Like what you see here, I just like literally paste this in and it's gonna work. But while we're here, let's actually go into the back end. So there's this button over here, which is uh, switch to code. And switching to code is gonna give, give us access to literally edit any of the back end code that Firebase created. So you might not wanna do this. You probably don't actually wanna do this at all. Um, but just while we're here, I'm gonna show you how you can actually, yeah, go into the back end and then change the code yourself. Uh, so let's give it a second to load. Awesome, so this is all of the different files. Now, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just gonna click on readme and it says to get started, take a look at source, app and page. 
Okay, so I have source over here. Let's drop down. There we go. Then we have app. Let's drop down and then we have page. So this actually is the uh, page that we see when we're uh, interacting and trying to get an, uh, an excuse generated. And uh, it literally immediately over here, excuse endpoint. And this is that URL for NAN. So I just zoomed in a little bit more, but you can see here, uh, constant, which is excuse endpoint. This is that test endpoint that we had before. I'm just gonna backspace this and I've already copied that production URL. So I'm gonna backspace and just paste in the uh, production URL, which is here now. And I'm just gonna zoom out. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back into this actual um, AI editor. So switch to prototyper. And I've just made that change in the code. I don't have to save anything, didn't have to do anything. Um, nothing's gonna change on this screen over here. Uh, but what's gonna change here is that now we're gonna be using the production URL and I do not have to click on test workflow. So as you can see here, it's not test workflow. We're active, so we're live. So let's go back into excuse generator. And yep, why did I fall off my bike? Let's generate an excuse. It's loading, we have the indicator. Oh, beautiful. As I was gracefully gliding down a street, a time traveling llama appeared dramatically shouting that the world is gonna end at 5 p.m. in a panic. This is crazy, right? I mean, it's a very silly app, but we we're able to create that uh, relatively quickly. Um, and now, I mean, you can literally go out now and create whatever app you want. Um, you see exactly how to prompt in here using plain English. You see how to go into the code to just make some modifications yourself. The entire experience is super easy. But probably the most important part of this is to just underline again that NAN is the facilitator for all the functionality for your app. You don't have to actually code up complicated API calls or processing anything within the front end. You can just say, hey, make the design look good, put a loading indicator, um, create the entire website, make some nice clickable buttons, like do all the front end UI stuff in Firebase, but leave all the complicated multi-step functionality just for NAN. So where you already have lots of experience in NAN to create agents, um, this is literally your domain for all the automation. And you can see how easy it is. You just create a webhook, you send some information to NAN, and that starts your workflow. Um, your workflow can be customized to whatever you want. You can have multiple workflows. Um, and yeah, this is like just a super easy way to just build apps or websites, public tools, internal tools, um, and yeah, and get them into production. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more of this kind of stuff, uh, please leave a comment below. Thanks. See ya.